gorgeous Cancerians. Cancer, this is your TGIF for Friday, the 20th of September, 2024. Cancer. Hope you guys have had a great week. Moving swiftly into the weekend and we're going to be finding out how your person's feeling about you. The deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. As you know by now, my website's down below if you'd like a private reading. All the decks are listed as well. And of course, the link is there to join the channel. So, Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Cancerians. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 20th of September. Moving into the weekend and into a brand new week. What do we have for my Cancerians? How does Cancer's person feel about them? Thank you, Michael. Ooh, okay. Cancer. I'm seeing somebody sitting in their living room, silent as a mouse. Someone is banging on the door and they're pretending they're not at home. They're thinking to themselves, it's okay, the curtains are drawn, the door is locked, they can't get in. I'm going to just pretend I'm not here. Okay, can't say you may be avoiding someone. They may feel you're not wanting to talk to them. Okay. All right, guys. What is going on? Yeah. It may be out of fear. It may be because you just don't know what to say. It could be embarrassment. We'll see, guys. We will see. The Magician. So your person feels as if you're a powerful manifester. They may feel that with the energy of the star, you're manifesting success in your life. You could be highly revered in the job that you have. You could be very good at what you do. You could be well known on social media. They may feel, Cancer, that you're trying to manifest an Aquarian. So this person could be someone that you have said no to. And they may be wanting to fight off the competition for you. The King of Coins. The Six of Coins. Six of Pentacles. The Hermit. Okay, Cancer. I think you have someone here who is wanting to come back into your life. But they may realise that you're working on a connection with someone that you love. There may be a choice between a Virgo and an Aquarian. We've also got Scorpio and Gemini with a magician. You could have Scorpio and or Gemini in your chart or dealing with a Scorpio and a Gemini. I think, Cancer, you met this guy, very attracted to him, but you changed your mind and you've decided to try and make things work with someone else. I think the guy that you rejected is a bit obsessed with you. They may be wanting to talk to you. They may want to fight off the competition, but you don't want to speak. It's as if I've made my decision. I don't want to work on this connection. And this is you almost wishing as if they'd leave you be. Please just accept no and move on. But they don't want to do it. They miss you, Cancer. They don't know what to do. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Judgment. Okay. Cancer, you may have decided to build on a connection with the man that you feel will give you long-term commitment and stability. Now, for some of you, you may have been separated from your husband. You may have met another guy whilst you were separated. For some of you, you're now deciding to patch up a long-term commitment, but your lover is not wanting to end the connection. I think, Cancer, with the Ten of Pentacles, you've been looking at this relationship with the man that you want to be with, you may either feel he's ready to commit to you and this other guy isn't, or you may feel that you want to patch up a long-term relationship. 
And maybe you've been too scared about facing financial loss in, say, a divorce. So I think you're making the judgment call to make a long term relationship work or move into a long term commitment with a guy that you feel is really ready. You may have met someone and had a lovely time with that person, but you may know they're not ready to commit. Or this is you simply going back to your husband. Yeah. So, Cancer, you're either deciding to work on a connection with a guy who's ready for marriage, you want to be wife energy, or you are in a marital situation, you are married, but you may have been separated from your husband, and you may have met another guy you were attracted to, but you're deciding to make it work with your long-term partner. And I think your lover's very upset. I think you were his dream come true, but you've chosen someone else. He may be desperately trying to reach you, Cancer, whereas you don't want to talk. The Four of Coins. You're holding back from this guy. With the Eight of Wands, he may have been very angry. Cancer, he may have wanted to have been with you. Yeah, Knight of Swords. You may have had to get tough with him. You may have had to be pretty blunt with him. I'm so sorry, but this is not going to work. I've chosen someone else or I'm remaining with my long term partner. We're patching things up. Nine of Wands. Oh, Cancer. There could be a little bit of regret here. I wish I hadn't got involved with this guy because he's a bit obsessed now and I don't really know what to do. <laughs> OK. Yeah, Six of Wands. You've had victory and success, Cancer, in either getting much more serious with a guy that you feel is ready for marriage, or you've had victory and success in patching up a long-term commitment. But you have a lover here who is desperately upset that you're closing the door. Under the deck, guys, we have the Wheel of Destiny. I think you've been standing at crossroads for the longest time. Two of Wands. With the energy of the Hierophant, you either had a choice between a lover and your long-term partner. Or there could have been a choice here between a Virgo, a Taurus, an Aquarian, or maybe a Sagittarian. Three of Swords. I think, Cancer, this was a heartbreaking decision for you. This was not easy for you. But you have chosen, with a Four of Wands, to put effort into a relationship that is stable or will move forward into a really serious commitment. With the energy of the Emperor, Cancer, and you come through as the Empress, you may be patching up a long-term relationship you may even be considering renewing your vows or moving to another area to make it work. Fresh, clean slate. Or you have met your emperor and you're deciding to put effort into that connection. So you're dropping this other guy. He's devastated, Cancer. It's as if you can't believe it. But you've made up your mind. The problem is he keeps communicating with you. So we're moving into the lighter pathway. Archangel Michael, tell us more about the situation. What is the guidance from the angels for my lovely Cancerians? Thank you. Deep love. Cancer, you are deeply in love with someone. You feel that deep connection with someone. And you're taking responsibility by ending things with someone else. So you're choosing the person who will either commit to you seriously or you're patching up a long term relationship because you realise you still love this person. Yeah. Children involved. So Cancer, you may be thinking about the happiness of your child or children. OK, wow. And I think, Cancer, you actually have made a decision to patch up a long-term commitment or to make it work with someone that you believe 
is ready for long-term commitment. Maybe this guy wasn't really ready and you knew it. Maybe now he's running after you saying, oh, cancer, I am ready to commit. I do want a long-term commitment. And you're thinking, well, it's a bit late now because you've either patched up things with your emperor or you're moving forward with someone expecting this to move into something really serious. You could be moving forward with your true divine twin, emperor, empress. Yeah. Time to move on. I think... What the angels are saying is it's time to let this other guy go and to move on and progress in your life because you've been keeping yourself stuck trying to make this decision. Yeah. Honesty. The angels are asking you to be totally honest with everyone involved. OK, so in the nicest sense, if you've got this guy sort of stalking you, you need to let the guy that you're building this beautiful long-term commitment with or the husband that you're patching things up with know that you have another guy who you started dating when you were in separation maybe who doesn't want to let you go be totally open and upfront with everyone and you can't go wrong you can't go wrong cancer moving okay so you could be moving in with the person that you were in separation from to get the ball rolling let's patch things up they could be moving in with you or you two could be relocating to a brand new area could be very exciting cancer but you know this poor guy who's a bit obsessed with you be kind right be gentle with him rather than ignore his messages you know, hoping he'll go away. Have that straightforward conversation with him. You know, let him know that you had a great time with him. Lots of happy memories, but you are interested in developing a connection with someone else. Leave it at that. So Cancer, on that note, let's have a look and see what this guy who seems to be a bit obsessed with you would want to say to you. So Archangel Michael, what would this guy want to say to Cancer, please? I feel you. Wow. There's a very strong connection he feels with you, Cancer. Whoa. Twin flame journey. Cancer, this guy may believe that you are his true divine feminine. I dream of you. Cancer, this guy is uh, a bit crazy about you. Ooh, I will find my way back to you one day. Okay, it's as if I'm not going to let you go ever, ever. Mm, have you got a stalker on your hands? What else does he want to say? This might be a bit tricky, guys. Yeah, he wants to work things out. You've already said, no, I'm sorry. I'm moving forward with someone else or I'm patching things up with my long term partner. It's as if he's in complete denial. He doesn't want to face the truth. He doesn't want this to be over cancer, but you're convinced that you've done the right thing here. No way. Twin flame twice? Now that never happens. Cancer, there's a heck of a lot of cards in this deck. This is a double deck. And in both decks, the twin flame card has come through. This guy is convinced that you are his true divine feminine. That's why he just can't detach. That's why he just can't detach from you. Yeah, he gets emotional when he thinks of you. It's as if, what, what else can I do? Hmm. All my Cancerians, you're always on my mind. I think Cancer, rather than just avoid this guy, you know, pretend you're not at home, not answering the phone. You have to have a conversation because he is not going to stop pursuing you. And eventually it may cause a lot of problems with the guy that you want to move forward with or the guy that you're patching things up with. OK, 
he's going to have to accept the truth that you are not wanting to be with him. What would you want to say to him, Cancer? For my male cross watchers, if you're the guy who wants to be with this Cancerian, Cancer, you're saying to him, destiny is taking us down different paths. You don't believe that you two were actually meant to be together. Okay. Oh, Cancer. I am so sorry. All right. You may have felt a bit bad, you know. Oh, God. I was really interested in this guy. Lots of chemistry. We had some fun. But then, um, I chose someone else. You may feel you hurt this guy. And you're sorry for that, Cancer, because you're lovely people, right? My little crabs, you're lovely people. Final message, what else would you want to say to this guy, Cancer? Yeah. I mean, for you, it's very simple. You do find this guy incredibly attractive. Whereas, Cancer, I think he genuinely fell in love with you and believes that you are his true divine feminine. But you're deciding to move forward with another guy. So let's move into the second reading. Let's have a look and see, Cancer, whether or not this guy is going to let you go, whether or not there's going to be a peaceful separation between you two. And let's see if you're going to be able to move forward and patch things up with your long-term partner or whether or not the guy that you have chosen to commit to is going to be faithful to you and whether or not this is going to be a successful relationship. I will see you guys in the second reading. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the Tarot de la Nuit. Let's find out how things are going to pan out, Cancer, over the next few months. So, Archangel Michael, what do we have, please, for my lovely Cancerians? How are things going to pan out over the next few months? Now through until, let's say, spring next year. How are things going to pan out? For my lovely Cancerians who resonate with this particular story. <laughs> All right. Situation. Mm. I can see someone looking at their phone thinking, I just don't want to answer it. Okay, is this guy carrying on ringing you, Cancer? <laughs> oh, dear. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's really strange. It's as if, okay, I'm going to pretend I'm not at home. I'm going to go to the far end of the room and pretend I'm not here. You may have all the lights turned off. You're holding back, Cancer, from this guy. You're holding back. It is a burden with the Nine of Wands because you know you're attracted to him. But you're trying to do the right thing. With the energy of the moon, you're a little bit worried he's obsessed with you. Page of Swords. You may fear, Cancer, that he's going to get angry and aggressive with you, for some of you. Afraid that this obsession will turn into anger. Justice. Okay, so Cancer, for some of you, you have decided to patch up a long-term commitment. You're working on your contract with your husband, you know, your marriage. And you know you've spoken the truth to this guy, but he probably didn't want to hear it. The world. Okay. Cancer, you're going to say to this guy, I'm so sorry, but this is totally done. With a nine of swords, you're going to say to him, I have felt bad about this. I have had sleepless nights. It hasn't been easy. But I do feel I've made the right decision. With the Three of Cups, what you're going to say to this guy is, look, we had a wonderful time. We had a lot of fun. I'm very attracted to you, but I have chosen someone else. The Empress. Wow, Cancer. You may say to this guy, look, I'm sorry. I was going through a tough time with my long-term partner. Or I really am at the stage in my life where I want to get married. I feel as if I've made the right decision. Again, you're trying to let this guy down easy, but it's as if he doesn't want to hear it. Okay, what's going to happen? Five of Wands. He may argue with you. 
two of swords and can't say you may have no choice but to say to him if you can't accept this we can't talk again i'm going to have to block you if you will not stop trying to communicate with me after i've told you my decision then i'm sorry i am going to have to block you it may be you didn't want it to get to that point, Cancer, but what you're thinking about is, I may not have a choice. He's not accepting no for an answer. The High Priestess, Cancer, you're going to go silent on him. If he starts to get aggressive, if he starts to argue with you, if he says to you, I want to see you, I want to talk to you, you're going to say no. You're going to say no, Cancer, because with the energy of judgment, you've already made the decision to choose the other guy. Again, whether or not he's a long-term partner, whether or not this is the guy that you feel will offer you long-term commitment, ready for marriage, you've chosen the other guy. Six of Swords. And I think you're going to be able, finally, to move to calmer waters. So it isn't going to be easy, but eventually this guy is going to get it, that you are, that you are not choosing him. It's going to be very difficult for him, though, Cancer, if he truly believes you are his true divine feminine, because you cannot totally cut the cord. But you have made your decision. Underneath the deck, guys, Eight of Swords, yeah. So, Cancer, you've been in your head about this. What do I do? This guy just won't accept no. With the energy of the Page of Wands, you know, messages of passion could have turned into messages of anger from him. With the Page of Pentacles, you may have said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it hasn't made any difference. Eventually, can say you are going to totally detach. With the Eight of Cups, you are leaving this guy behind and you're heading straight to the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this could be, again, you patching up a long-term commitment or well, Cancer, it could well be that the guy that you've chosen is wanting a really serious long-term relationship. And maybe you felt this other guy wasn't ready. With the energy of the star, Aquarian energy, you're going to be incredibly happy, Cancer. And with the strength card, you're going to continue to hold back from this guy. And you're also going to concentrate on your health. This whole situation, Cancer, may have taken a toll on your health. So you're going to be looking at that. So Archangel Michael, how are things going to work out in the future with Cancer and the guy they've chosen? I think you're going to move forward very quickly. Things are going to improve or things are going to get serious very fast. That's your lovely energy. Yes. King of Swords, you could be arranging to move in together. You could be signing a document between the two of you. You could be renewing your vows. It may be that you've chosen an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Wow, this is looking beautiful, people. The Four of Wands. Okay, you could be getting engaged. You could be relocating, you know, patching up a marriage. I think this is going to work out for you guys. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is someone very stable, grounded, and this is someone you can rely on, Cancer. The guy you've chosen, you can rely on. Yeah. And with the Ace of Pentacles, you guys may well be uprooting and moving. If not, you're starting all over again. Okay. Gorgeous. So on that note, Cancer, this is a beautiful reading. Let's have a look and see what guidance comes through from the universe. So Archangel Michael, what would the universe want to relay to Cancer, please, at this time? Like a bird. Cancer, be open and honest with the person that you've moved forwards with. There will be a sense of stability but this may still be a fragile situation. This guy that you've chosen may know that he had a competitor. Mm. Okay. Protective nest. 
You may believe that this is a spiritual connection with your guy, with a two and a five, which is seven. You're also going to be feeling really secure with this person. Change of seasons with a six. This is going to be a balanced connection, Cancer. You may feel that you two complement each other. You may also feel that you can get over any arguments, any disagreements. He could be the sort of guy who's relatively relaxed and that suits you. <laughs> I love this card. No rain today. Cancer, this person makes you incredibly happy. They may have a fantastic sense of humour. With this energy coming through, I think you guys are going to start again or you two are going to move forward into a very serious relationship. Beautiful. <laughs> Final card from the universe, please, Michael. Thank you. House of Flowers, yeah. He may be getting a lot more romantic with you, Cancer. He may be starting to bring you flowers. You may feel as if you're nice and stable in this commitment with him, or you two are heading that way. I think, Cancer, you have a very happy future to come. I do. So, from here, as always, we're going to ask Archangel Michael for his closing message of guidance. Archangel Michael, what's your closing message for my lovely Cancerians? Thank you. What does Cancer need to know at this time? Make a commitment, Cancer, okay? And the prayer reads, Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So basically what Archangel Michael is saying, hang on to this guy, be honest, open and totally upfront with him. Don't even look at anyone else. And this relationship is going to be successful. Beautiful. So guys, I'm leaving the reading there. Whatever you're up to this weekend, I hope it's a lovely weekend. Take care of yourselves. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Cancer. Bye now.